If I invited you to my house, I would be a host, and I pray that I would be a good host to you, that I'd offer you food, that I'd offer you something refreshing to drink, that we'd have a good time. Well, every day your mind is a host to the thoughts you entertain. And what a silly idea it is to invite thoughts that you don't want into your life. Ideas of worry and anxiety and, and of, uh, you know, everything negative that you can think of. I could name them a thousand different names, but why should we even do that? We want to entertain positive ideas when we wake up and all through the day. When we entertain positive ideas, we think the children of those thoughts. We think strength. We think love. We think confidence. Thoughts have power, and they create after their kind. And you are always free to choose and entertain positive ideas, knowing that they will manifest themselves as that which is true, as that which is beautiful, as that which is loving, as that which is good. To think about God, that is perhaps the most positive kind of thinking. For God is omnipresent love. God is omnipresent wisdom. God is omnipresent strength. And you become conscious, a conscious channel of God, as you affirm and know your oneness with all that God is. From your thoughts come forth your words, your actions, your demonstrations. Now, in the past, if you have made errors, you can correct them through holding on to positive ideas and attitudes. So even your errors can become learning experiences. Today, entertain positive ideas. Think strength. Think love. Think confidence. And you'll find the Bible is right about these things. In Philippians 4 verse 8 it says, Whatever is true, Whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, think about these things. I pray today that you only entertain positive ideas.